Hey everyone, my name is Eric Thor and in this video I want to talk to you about the differences between the ENFP and the ENTP personality types. I mean the similarities we already know, they are highly creative types, they are extremely good at making deductions and understanding new patterns, new trends and new possibilities. They are really good at reading instantly what another person means, reading behind the lines, holding parallel conversations, seeing different options, seeing different opportunities as they emerge, exploring new clues and searching for new uh, patterns around you, noticing new patterns before anyone else. We know a lot of these patterns of uh, ENFPs and ENTPs and we know their similarities, but we could still learn a lot more about their differences. What I've noticed is that there are a set of key skills and interests that are different beyond just being an NF or being an NT. I think a lot of uh, smart ENFPs stare themselves blind at being intelligent and the differences and the challenges that create for you. Uh, the desire for intellectual stimulation and the desire not to be bored doesn't necessarily make you an NT type. But having uh, the uh, having the need for achievement, for power, for challenge, for being capable, for being strong, for being good at something, that is something that is very unique to the ENTP personality type. ENTP types have two significant values that they strive uh, their entire lives towards and uh, the first is capability. The sense that you are good at something, that you are really, really good at something, that you have something that you are a master of, something that you have become an expert of, something uh, people come to you seeking help and aid and information from about, uh, something that other people uh, admire in you, that you can do that nobody else can do, that's something I think ENTPs get quite a kick off. Something else that ENTPs value that is very different from the ENFP is influence. ENTPs actually need, crave influence over other people, influence over systems, influence over politically speaking, influence uh, in the sense that other people take their advice and do what they say and follow the ENTPs wisdom and insight into things. It's uh, the case that ENTPs want to be influential people, people that other people look up to, people that other people admire, often key personalities in companies, in business, in uh, your academic field of expertise, being the person that people listen to, being the person that decides what's right and wrong. Having achieved that level of skill or that level of competence where other people come to trust you and come to understand you and come to uh, agree and rely on your judgment. ENTPs, just like ENTJs, need that sense of judgment, uh, that sense of power over other people. And also that includes, that doesn't have to be, because it's not the case that ES, uh, ENTPs desire to be uh, looked at, that they desire to dominate the room, that they desire to be the people that everyone else uh, is dazzled by, but it's the case that they desire to have control. And um, I should say this because ENTPs do not seek to uh, be, uh, they don't necessarily seek to be in the spotlight. That's also something important about uh, ENFPs. ENFPs don't desire to be in the spotlight, but often ENFPs and ENTPs desire to make things happen. Uh, wherever they go, they want to make something happen. They don't necessarily want to be the person that is the event in itself. Uh, unlike ESFPs and ESTPs, they don't need to have everyone's eyes on them, but they need to feel that sense that they have made an impact, that they have done something uh, that nobody else has done. And that's um, important. That says a lot about uh, ENTP and the ENFP personality types, that uh, we often look at extroverts as those people that want to stand on the stage, that want to uh, rule everything and have uh, uh, all eyes on them, but uh, ENTPs and ENFPs are quite shy extroverts. A lot of the time uh, they decide to uh, influence the world and to be a part of it, but not necessarily to be the front person, the front figure of it. 
what you can do to see how an ENFP or an ENTP influences the world is you can look at what happens when they come into a group because some amazing things tend to happen when an ENFP or an ENTP joins the group. It's not even the case that they need to be the person doing it, but that they kind of become the catalysts of something amazing, that they create something pretty fascinating. They create a show and they create a fantasy or a scenario or something pretty epic. And I think that's the alert, that's the charm of ENFPs and ENTPs. They can get the spotlight thanks to this, but uh, often they want to keep put the ideas in the spotlight. They, you know, they, they get into the spotlight because they have ideas, because they have something, some form of innovation that they want to hold up. And, uh, the spotlight becomes something they don't crave, but something they get, no matter if they want it or not. Often, when you look at the ENFP or the ENTP personality type, uh, the ENFP is different from the ENTP in the sense that the ENFP strongly craves connection. ENFPs desire to have a connection in the sense that they need to feel uh, that they are a part of the group, that they feel like uh, they are welcome in the group, that the, they are understood by others and that they understand other people, that they feel welcome, that they can express themselves as they are. It's very important for an ENFP to experience that connection and not just uh, small talk, but to experience a truly meaningful connection. ENFPs uh, are constantly trying to authenticate everything they hear. They want to understand that other people are telling them the truth. They want to see another person in uh, the real version of that person. They don't want to see the lies of anyone else. They don't want to see the makeup of anyone else. They want to see the real person behind the sitting next to them. They want to experience that raw, real experience of another person. They want to make sure that they are not being lied to, that other people are being truthful with them, honest with them, that uh, they can trust what other people say. And they want to uh, listen very carefully to make sure that they hear other people correctly. ENFPs and ENTPs are primarily divided by values. Of course, it's that the NT has a different set of values, often more based on wanting to learn, wanting to achieve, wanting to accomplish, wanting to have a position of power, where the ENFP often desires something you could describe as transcendence, in the sense that uh, generally the NF desires not just uh, self-direction, just like the, the ENTP, but that they also desire some form of higher consciousness. So ENFPs tend to be obsessed by uh, the idea of higher consciousness, experiencing that highest high of uh, the, that most true uh, version of yourself, the most true connection you could possibly experience, that most true understanding of other people, of nature, of animals. Um, they think so much about how they can connect better with other people, with how they can uh, feel more connected to the world, with how they can feel uh, that sense that they truly understand. And that's something that separates them truly from the ENTP, that is more interested in enhancement than in the experience of uh, accomplishment. Uh, often the ENTP wants to learn, but doesn't necessarily want to uh, experience the fruits of what they learn. Uh, they don't seek to learn because they, the, to, play an to play a guitar, to experience that high you feel when you get that perfect the chord down. But to feel that, wow, I figured out this new chord, wow, I learned how to do this new technique on the guitar. It's so much more about that experience of learning, that thrill of uh, step by step achieving something, becoming better at something that truly gets an ENTP in the state of flow, and that should be important to know. It's all about flow, all personality types are separated by flow. It's not that an ENFP can't be really good at something. It's not that an ENTP can't have a pleasure, a benefit out of meaningful connection, but it's that when they feel that high of flow, when they feel that uh, high of uh, something, they are usually engaging in different things. They are usually doing different activities.
We all are, as humans, very adaptable and capable of changing and being what we want to, depending on what the situation needs. But ENFPs and ENTPs have their differences in what they need and what they want. There are some sub-patterns that are interesting to note when talking about the ENFP and the ENTP. And uh, I would say that uh, something uh, pretty interesting about ENTPs is that they are much more about communication. They are often much better at communication than listening, where the ENFP is much better at listening than communicating. That's something very interesting to note. If you're looking at someone who is really good at talking and smooth talking, then usually you're dealing with an ENTP, uh, even if that's an inferior uh, thing that often happens. Similarly, um, the ENFP is uh, much better at dealing with organization and systems and structure and structuring their thoughts uh, than the ENTP. <laughs> Often I think the ENTP's mind is a little too quick for uh, to be put in order. Often they, are they, they see too many possibilities and uh, when they see too many possibilities organization is impossible. For ENFPs, often it's that ENFPs can experience the thrill of both having organization and creativity. It's uh, uh, often said that ENFPs can't be organized, but when sometimes they can make amazing lists with amazingly well-structured uh, creativity, it's often that even create, uh, structure can help boost their creativity in a way that it doesn't necessarily boost uh, the creativity of the ENTP. I hope this video helped settle some differences and helped some of you find out what type you really are. And maybe it helped you find out something more about your family members or about your other ENFPs or ENTPs you know. If you did, feel free to leave a like, share, a comment down below. Really appreciate any feedback and as always, may your neurons be with you.